Hello, this is Matthew Williams bringing you a video to talk to you about how to use After Effects to stabilize footage. In this piece, the null down footage. I'm going to skip through this. I'm not going to explain the technicalities, but just what I'm doing. So I've got the footage here, and about 16 minutes 40 or something like that. Um, if I play it on, um, it should come to this area, which is null down, which is around here. So that's null down down there. Okay, now as you can see, the footage will jitter so that you know it's out of shot there and the the, the person's head is moving around at about uh, at about uh, 17 20 something like that we get a nice segment that we can use there so it's about 17 20 and we can zoom in and have a look at this area to see if there's anything there now i'm comparing this here where you can see that there's a small dot let me just um uh, just zoom this in for you and move around. Now you can see these are this hasn't been processed yet, so this is still very bitty footage. But later on, all these little squares, these little pixels, are going to be smooth. Very we're interested in. But what we need to look at is um, tracking the objects first. So what we would do is we would pick a, a stabilized motion track, and um, then we would actually place it on an object that we were interested in. So that would be a pure. Um, on the trees or near enough about so then we would put our uh, marker around the object that we're interested in and we'd put a reference area around it and then we would say stabilize and I'll give you a quick example of what this would be like now so if we say stable on stabilize on that then no matter where this object goes you can see that the tracking is monitoring exactly where the object goes and then all we have to do with this is a is apply our trackings and zoom into this object so now we we've applied our tracking and and then we should be able to play the area and it will actually track and then this is where it's finished so it's not tracking anymore but as you can see during that period when we did that small area of tracking you know it'll hold that image completely still so now what we do is we apply that, and I've done this earlier on, so I spent the time tracking the whole uh, the whole area and applying the, the blur functions, and you can see that what we're actually zooming in, we're zooming in on a very small area here of the whole footage. So when we play this back, we will see the camera tracking around that area, and the trees are off the top now, and you can see the object nicely in this area okay so let's have a little look again so let's go back and you can see just before the the wing comes in to shot you can actually see that object and the things to notice are big tree small tree tiny tree okay so look at these three things here and the position of the object in the field now let's go across to crop circle connector um, okay so watch this now big tree smaller tree smaller tree okay so can you see where this is this is further along the field okay so that would be stepping out to the tram line okay and out of the field and then uh, so have a look back for reference you've got this one this one and this one there we go there are the three references and further along the field by a small position is the very same thing so let's have a look, little move forward and backwards there we are so you can see it in the motion there you can actually see it okay it gives you an idea that this thing was in the field and is present can be seen on Monique Klinkenberg's footage so now we're going to put some of this stuff on the timeline and we will loop it for you to see